Hey guys, Stuart here from Velocity AP. I'm here with our race shop supervisor, Mike. We're gonna show you guys uh, something on three and five liter supercharged Jag Land Rover engines when you're doing a crank pulley installation, what can go wrong. So right here, you can see, this is one of the hubs right here that fits over the crank. There's a little keyway in there that holds it on. This is the accessory drive pulley. So this is what's driving um, all the other front end accessories on the car except the supercharger. And this here, this is a quality control reject that we're not sending out. This is our crank pulley. Um, in this case, this particular hub would actually take a silver one, but this, for these purposes, it doesn't matter. So you can see that it fits on there properly. If you've got everything square, everything lines up, tolerances are all good. All those bolts are gonna go in there. But here's what can go wrong if you are not careful. And here's why it's important when you're putting this together to do it just like you were putting a wheel on a car and tighten up each one of these um, fasteners a little bit at a time um, to make sure you have it properly seated on here. So we'll get all of these fasteners in here and started. I think this, yeah. You know what? That one's got a little bit of a screwed up thread. We'll leave that one off. Anyway, if you were to go and, and tighten these up, get them hand tight and just go across here in a star pattern and tighten them up a little bit at a time until you get your torque readings correctly. You're going to get this pulley on properly. It's going to be mounted flush against the hub. But here's where it can go wrong. And we've seen this happen. You want to hold the camera down for me, Mike? So, if you're not paying attention, and you crank one of these sides down all the way, what you can actually see now is that this is not seated evenly, right? This fastener here is tight and it's actually sitting proud up on the lip here. So we're gonna go ahead and tighten this one down all the way. And then we're gonna tighten the other ones up to show you what can happen. There you go. Now you can see right here, this looks like it's on, but it's not. It's sticking up a little bit here. It's caught on the lip. This side is sitting down flat. And if we spin this pulley, you're not actually going to see a ton of run out. But what you won't notice is that this is actually wobbling. So this pulley groove here isn't straight. It's gonna be on a slight angle. If you make this mistake, you're gonna find that the belt gets shredded pretty quickly. It's gonna get thrown off by about one rib and these grooves are gonna cut the belt. So we'll go ahead and take this off so you can see what it looks like when it comes off. you end up with is a warped center portion of the pulley. It's all mangled. You can see some depression around the holes where it's actually bent those. This will A, wreck your pulley and B, wreck your belt very quickly. So very important to make sure that it's seated flush before you go ahead and crank those bolts up.